Hello, hello, Callum here. Welcome to the stream, and hey, the dish tray is closed already. Welcome. Once it loads, ooh, it's the PS2. Welcome to a game that's created and developed by Insomniac. Welcome to Ratchet Gladiator. There we go. Got there eventually. Thanks, game. Yes, this is uh, Ratchet Gladiator. The something game. This is the fourth one in the series. There you go. After the original. Going commando and up your arsenal. So, depending on which region you're in, so for example in uh, North America, it would be referred to as Ratchet Deadlock. In Europe and in Australia, uh, Ratchet Gladiator, as you can see. And then it was just called Ratchet Clank 4 in Japan, so there you go. And this came out uh, October 25th, 2005, so nearly. So a week off, uh, 14 years. It's actually pretty cool. So from the looks of things, right, so this is the last one to be featured on this generation of consoles. I mean, this was just on PS2, but you get what I mean. Let's take a look at the game settings here. Subtitles on, obviously. Put the music volume. can say where it is. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. Language. Anglais. Inglés. Angleterre. Wait, no, that's England, isn't it? Yeah. And let's just start a new game. So from the looks of things, you can have four different save files. It's been it's been a few years since I played this. This is uh, one of the games that will not work on uh, on the uh, PS2 emulator whatsoever. No matter what I did to it, it would always just go at, like, minus 30 frames per second. Which is no bueno. Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna go Gladiator difficulty, why not? Well, does that mean that, um... In the American version, that difficulty is called Deadlocked. Yeah. Don't know why, but the transforms can move. Gotcha. So. A dramatic conclusion to one of the most exciting episodes of Dread Zone I have ever seen. Captain Starshield, the number one ranked gladiator, has been terminated by Ace Hardlight. Ace has now eliminated a record 13 contestants in the regular season. <laughs> there we go. Hey, there's the bad guy. 11 hours ago, I bought the Starship Phoenix. <coughs> I wonder why it's called the Phoenix. Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. Oh, you mean 
Right. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Uh, greetings, Mayor. I... No, no, no. Um, well, long time no see. Uh, no. Uh, so, Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> uh, greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well, she need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, what happened? Apparently he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport. Something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man. Gleeman Vox. He operates right, an underground media Gleeman empire Vox. from within the Shadow Sector. The Shadow Sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently, and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before... Unidentified craft approaching. Why, why do some of the... Why do some of the subtitles look really weird? You, the Lombax, known as Ratchet. Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? Some of those subtitles look really weird. They like cut off and look like axes. Progress is saving. While this icon is on screen, do not remove the memory card. Attempt to console. Yeah, I got it. It's just like every other game. Six hours ago, Dread Zone headquarters. Well, so I might have to reposition the camera. We'll see. Excellent. Bring him in. Yes, sir. We caught two strays in the process. Should we terminate them? Give him collars, and see if you can get some work out of them first. Present time in an uncertain location. Hello? Hello in there? Can you hear me? You've been unconscious pardon for me. hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Then again, pardon uh, me. How many fingers am I holding up? Whoops. Uh, looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual matrix processor. Hold still a second. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blarg headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my... I, 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 there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I, 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 I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Let's just see if I wired that teleportation circuitry Well The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification course in the allotted time, we will all be terminated. Alright. We must calibrate your battle suit's targeting matrix. First, look over at the hollow target on your left. Turn to face oh, the hollow target it's... on the right, then fight. Okay, there's control options, so hopefully, yeah. Good. Now shoot the hollow target something. above you. All right, Ratchet. Your movement circuit should be in working order now. Try getting to the top of that ledge. I am transmitting a digital mini-map representation of the area. Can you see it? The mini-map will show you the positions of nearby enemies. I am reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. Oh, I completely forgot about inverted camera. Good, Ratchet. There should be a teleporter nearby that. that will take you to the next stage of the qualification course. And now we're here. Greetings, hero, and welcome to Dreadzone. Rest assured, you are now far beyond the reach of hope. 
There will be oh, no good. rescues, no pardons, no possibility of escape. You are now a contestant on the greatest television oh. program that Galaxy has ever known. A celebrity gladiator battling for the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the Shadow Sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good luck, hero. We'll be watching you. <laughs> Ratchet, I have figured out a way to get information to you without Vox knowing. Pay attention to secret messages at the bottom of your screen. At the top of your screen is the experience bar. As you destroy enemies, you gain experience. When the bar is full, you will gain a level, and your nanotech will increase. or triangle and use the left analog stick to select any weapon. Securely fastened around your neck. This collar cannot be broken or removed. Should you stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. Should a contestant oh. become uncooperative or worse, boring, his or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. Oh. Nothing to lose your head over. <laughs> right? I get it. Tap R2 to switch between recently used. Congratulations, Ratchet. You made it through the qualification course. Check your map. There should be a teleporter nearby. Use the teleporter to meet me back at our Dread Zone containment area. It's probably rough. Pointless. Teleport. Wow, this place is crazy. I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the life, the fame, the money, the babes. Try not to forget that we are being <laughs> the a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. Welcome, hero, to your new living quarters. Your luxury containment suite is equipped with everything you will need uh, as a contestant yes. on Dread Zone. Oh, Please yes. make yourself comfortable. You'll most likely be spending the. Oh, uh, this is this is good. This is Rest this is very here. good. Ratchet, you should go find Al. I have marked his location on your map. I think he has something to show you. Ratchet, have you visited Al yet? Oh, thank Christ. Game's the best. I mean, it's the worst because it's defaulted to left and right being inverted, but apart from that, the fact that you can change it is uh, pretty, pretty good.
especially considering a lot of games nowadays don't do that. Ratchet, have you visited Al yet? Rankometer. Welcome to the Quasar 0115 Gladiator Ranking Station. With your yeah. stats, I am surprised you are alive. Well then. So there's Ratchet, Kid Nova is still active, the Omega Twins are deceased. Shell Shock is in the exterminator. Agent Zero is active. Reactor is an exterminator. Plasma Ray and uh, Quasar Flare are both deceased. That's better. Yeah. Uh, the Eviscerator is an exterminator. Uh, Quaternion X and Captain Starshield both deceased. Man, Captain Shark Starfield's doing pretty good. And then Ace Hardlight, top exterminator. Ooh, can I break these? Damn it. Oh, there's. Hey, oh. hey Ratchet. Ha. Okay, I have then. Something to show you. Meet your new battle bot. Ooh. Call me Merc. This here's Green. Uh, hi, sir. I got them off a former contestant who, uh, he won't be needing them anymore. Yeah, I wonder why. Boss, you won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. Oh, suck it up, Green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to upgrade them. Just come and see me whenever you want to juice them up. Shield Link gadget allows your combat bots to create a protective energy shield around an ally during battle that's particularly useful when allies using the hacker ray or trying to turn one of Dreadzone's bolt cranks. Ooh, that would be good actually. This is the original paint scheme from a Dreadzone champion bot. Uh, this battered look comes from Grunt Troop armor originally used in the Battle for Catacomb 4. Commander. This is Dreadzone Standard Fair, equipped with Dreadzone communication software, a targeting system, and two ply Orcsonian plate armor. You can rest assured that your bot will perform at its highest capabilities. The P6 Obliterator was voted Weapon of the Year by the Galactic Association of Ridiculously Unnecessary Firepower. You'll buy it for the precision ground targeting, but you'll love it for its gratuitous destruction. He's set up on the other side of the containment area. I bet he's... Uh, equipment. Yeah, so this tells you about what you've already got. Cool. Rats its Dreadzone starter suit with some slight modifications by Al. And uh, Versa Wrench Light is a cheap but reliable member of Pox Industries' acclaimed line of melee weapon household tools. This model offers a nanofiber mesh grip that is just right for the novice combatant. However, <clears throat> 
more experienced competitors will find this model's striking power uh, insufficient for heavy combat. Ah, so this is them. I guess. EMP grenade. Uh, Pistol Flux LX and the Alpha Ravager. Oh. Okay, whatever those are. Digs. Um, digs? I mean, what's all the hardware for? Ah, they call this the mission control room. Each contestant is assigned a mission engineer to monitor their progress. Right. So, what's his face? Figured he'd save a few bolts and make you do it. Uh, hem. All right, fresh meat. Enough chit chat. You're next up in the battle dome after Mobius. The battle dome. And from the way Don't he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it. Let him bring. Ratchet. I will assist you any way I can. Thanks, Clank. These guys obviously don't know who they're messing with. All right. It's a battle dome. Attention, hero. Report to the battle dome trans. The dark battle dome. for choosing Pox Airways for your traveling needs. We do hope you have a pleasant flight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our in-flight entertainment, courtesy of the Pox Network. Ooh. Something you should know. Ooh. I'm not a real tyrannoid. <laughs> Will you lose your lunch if you have to watch one more reality dating show? Is your blog's gone wild, video scratched from overuse? Then it's time to turn that dial to something a little more dangerous. Ooh. Time for some real action. Ooh. It's time to blow up! That's right, it's time for Dread Zone, the galaxy's number one uncensored, unethical, and completely underground combat sport. Blasting straight at you, live from the Battle Dome. And now, on page Why of Jesus? You, watch That's the name and a half. What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Terminators. They save the galaxy three times over, but how long can they survive in the zone? Zone. Alive, right here. On Pox. Pox. I oh, get it. Get used to this voice. Fourth victim already this season. Next up, we have. Uh, let me see here. Ratchet. Yeah, I never heard of him. Well, he's probably just intermission material, folks. But don't worry, we have Gray Thunder and Hydro Girl coming up later. So stay tuned to Dread Zone. Well, here he is. <laughs> he's a little guy, isn't he? Well, don't it's bother getting up for drinks, folks. The this best Ratchet game, in my opinion. We'll see. <laughs> Also, I was going to put Gladiator slash Deadlocked in the title. Twitch had the category as Ratchet Deadlocked, but you can't put Dead in your title. He's a Lombax. He spent time in prison. He hates candy and children. Let's hear it for Ratchet and Team Darkstar. Uh-oh. I guess I didn't calibrate that bot correctly. Go ahead and press the down directional button to initiate the auto repair sequence. You can do this anytime a bot becomes too damaged to continue. That's the worst between this one and the third one. Uh up your arsenal, I believe. You yes. can press the down directional button at any time to make your bots regroup to your position. It's uh, the one you're referring to. I uh I'll be honest, I don't actually remember which ones 
played. I know I've played the original, this, and there was one for the PSP that I played as well, which I quite like. But I remember some very difficult, um, damn it. I remember some very difficult uh, parkour sections on that PSP one. I think there was some like Dream World level as I think like in that level. Alright. I remember things. I briefly touched on it earlier because um, I was trying to remember what um, which game in the series this was. Oh, I'm dead. Well then, that uh, that didn't take long. Also, there's no good place to put my camera, so. I'll cover the map, why not? There we go. Is that the map or the camera? Uh, no, the camera. Bolts. Which difficulty? This is a uh, middle tier gladiator. To be fair, it's been a few years since I've properly played this. So. Oh, there's a uh, focus mode. Yes. I think it is no reload then. Also Oh nice. Uh in the challenge Gris for the mill. So I'm not doing nice. Kill ten swarmers in ten seconds. If I'm not mistaken, these are challenges you can do at any point when you're in the um, battle game. Seems way different from ones that uh, yeah. It almost has no platforming. Uh from what I can remember, yeah. There's like small amounts. Nothing uh Dread Zone challenges are too major. Or lower force fields. But be careful, Ratchet. The bolt cranks may trigger incoming waves of enemies. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Well then. Uh, 
Uh, whatever games I have for the PS2. Uh, I got Ratchet Gladiator, obviously. Uh, every wrestling game from Just Bring It to SBR08. Uh, Guitar Hero from Guitar Hero 1 to Aerosmith. Uh, Sega Superstars Tennis, FIFA 06, FIFA 08, I can't remember if I picked up FIFA 07, uh, Sonic Heroes, and uh, Wipeout, Fusion, oh and uh, Sims 2 Pets as well. Try and be a bit more uh, conservative of ammo this time. Oh, nice. Defeating enemies automatically upgrades your dreads or weaponry and improves your maximum nanotech level. Uh, if you haven't played Scarface, what is yours? I don't know. Um, funny you say that. Uh, earlier on, uh, I, I did come across that. I was looking up, uh, like, Mafia-style games because... There was a game we used to have, like, a good 10, 15 years ago, and uh, I've never been able to remember the name of it since playing it all that time ago. Um, and I finally found it today. It was uh, The Getaway. Because of looking up Mafia style games, um, the Scarface game, uh, that was the second game that came up after uh, Godfather for the PS2. Cinematics, robot cutaways, concept art. Okay. Oh my god. Ratchet, keep moving and jumping side to side to avoid incoming fire. The Dread Zone bots have heavy firepower, but they are not good at hitting moving targets. I like how they spin as well. Also, it's said about strafing or holding L2 or R2. L2 is the first person button and R2 is uh, switching weapons. My scanner so. show an extremely deadly 70 millimeter stalker turret ahead of you. You need to get behind cover immediately. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by.
Excellent work, hey. Ratchet. Now that you have survived the qualification course, you will be allowed to join us back at our containment area. Ah, oh, seven seconds off. 89 kills. 3 out of 15 skill points, not bad. 1500 bolts. Catacrom 4. Let's keep this quick box. Oh, well, far be it from me to keep the superstar exterminator from his busy social schedule. I just have one question for you. Okay, shoot. Would you like to buy an Ace Hard Light video game? How about an Ace Hard Light lunchbox? Action figures, movie rights, collectible trading cards? Ace Hard Light is the perfectly manufactured celebrity, straight from the presses of the entire Pox Media Empire. So tell me, why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a wild guess. It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hard Light! He's a pop is with the charisma of bloggy and Nazis. So, what are you saying exactly? Sip it, Wonder Boy. The little willies and Susies of the world are spending a trillion volts a day on worthless swag, and I'm completely cut out of the market. Either you start selling this junk, or I'll find someone who will. Now, get out of my sight! Well then. Why don't we just get a backstage video of uh, Ratchet, Vincent Man and Roman Reigns? Ooh, another ship. This is the interplanetary transport. You are not very good with a weapon, are you? Alright, we still have zero points. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's see here. Ooh. We now have all this. Pardon me. And planets as well. Catacrum 4, Saratos, Kronos, Avengers Tournament. Shah, Orkson, Crusader Tournament, the Valix Belt, Planet Torval, Vindicator Tournament, Stagia, Maraxis, and the Liberator Tournament. I forgot how much content was in this. Yeah, I'm I'm a young boy. <laughs> uh, right. Let's. Rest for the mill. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise. It's time to kill or be killed in the Annihilator round. Ratchet must survive under relentless attack from wave after wave of lethal enemies. That's how it started.
Hell yeah. 80 power and the impact mod. Fox has designed his weapons CNA, to an experience CNA. as you use them, which allows them to be upgraded. Upgraded weapons yeah, are we did damage, it. but can be modified. Ooh, and track points. Hell yeah. Uh, the big sleep, the very end, uh, sh 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 uh, triple pattern, the dreads lane, sleep of gas will slowly drain Ratchet's health as he fights. Can team Dark Star take down an entire robot platoon before the toxic fumes stand their lights out for good? Uh, well, we'll come back to that. <laughs> we'll come back to that. Right, so, skill points. I swear I did that just then. Uh, complete any challenge without taking damage. We probably could have done that just now. Complete the challenge Manic Speed Demon in less than 60 seconds. In the challenge Zombie Attack, kill 50 robot zombies. Blow up 15 barrels. Kill 5 swarmers in one shot. Use the fusion rifle to kill 2 enemies in one shot. Defeat Reactor in 30 seconds. Defeat Eviscerator using only the flail. Defeat Ace Hard Light without taking any damage. Oh, good lord. Let's go back to Marauder for now. We're on the board. Reflect on how terrible you are. Thanks. We're on the board with 1500. Hell yeah. Oh, we can go by the thingy weapon. Actually, yeah, let's buy the uh, shield link. It's a very easy thing to have. All right, let's head over to uh, Thingy Planet. Forgotten what it's called. Catacomb 4, that's the one. Zero of 15 skills. as we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. That's right, Dallas, and we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Pox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle course. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh my! Yeah, what up? It's me. They're really scraping the bottom of the it's your boy. these guys, aren't they? I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish, because the next one looks like a bleeder. <laughs> Ratchet's oh, first objective is a gimme, Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. Ooh, a new weapon and a new mod. 
Dreadzone's Holoshield launcher is a technologically improved version of the top-selling Gadgetron item. This device allows you to shoot out a portable shield anytime and anywhere. The Hollow Shield's patented quantum technology allows your shots to pass through while blocking all enemy fire. Uh, the Napalm mod spawns fiery pools of lava with every shot. This mod is attachable to any weapon that uses explosive ammunition. Uh, the sticky pools of lava uh, will damage any enemy who crosses them while leaving you and your allies unharmed. Uh, Pox Pharmaceuticals originally developed portable lava technology while designing a heated massage oil. Oh dear god. When the massage oil proved unpopular in focus tests, I wonder why, it was repackaged as a weapons mod. Oh then. is more fun than a busload of cheerleaders. I tried to risk it. Did not get a plan. Uh, Come on. We'll see. Uh, extra skill points. Uh, use the B6 to obliterate and kill 20 enemies in a row. Your combat bots must gain 15 kills. Now you challenge. In the challenge on the Prowl, then you turn at least two bolt cranks. Kill five enemies using two different mods in 30 seconds. I need to blow something up. It's just there. Uh, Back over here, real quick. There we go. Two kills. Oh, we've got a skill point. On the prowl, we can't As the land. As continues toward the catacomb burial dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. Oh. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big bad Found early it. walking armored tank called the Land Stalker. Good luck, kids. Ratchet, you will have to capture all. Ratchet. All right. Uh, wasn't there? Manually turn at least two bolt oh, cranks. Okay. So what do we do? Complete any challenge without healing. Oh, nice. Uh, destroy, deploy the EMP on three turrets in every challenge. Uh, complete a catacomb graveyard mission on exterminator difficulty. Yeah, no thanks. Find and break five jackpot crates. Break ten breakable objects to break five hovering cameras. Three nodes to extend the bridge. Here's a chilling thought. 
Team Darkstar is walking on top of a giant robot burial ground. Good. Ratchet, if you want to extend the bridge, use the node crank. You know, sometimes I think I should have taken that job on Annihilation Nation. They've got a great dental plan. Ratchet, I've upgraded your bot. Right, Manually turn at least two bolt cranks. Okay. To turn bolt crank. Is that get close to a crank and press the right directional or? button? I've got the shield now, haven't I? I uh, don't really know what I'm wearing. About. Why work up a sweat turning cranks when you can order your box to do it for you? Well, I thought I had the shield. Oh, hi there. show requirements. Enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue. Oh crap. Oh crap. Ah! I didn't realize breaking the cover was possible. Dear God. Good. Hey, let's try and uh, kill it a little quicker this time. Huh? Hey, oh, we're back here, huh? Good. Driving a mint green man ray five. Please report to security. You're parked in my space.
Wow, that was painfully long. seen the Diablo hey. in the pale moonlight? I have, and it's fantastic! Well, that's a nine. Cool. Yeah, use the dual vipers to kill ten zombies. Well, I would. If uh Bamo wasn't say this would be much else. Five enemies using two different mods in 30 seconds. Theoretically. Here is some good news. Each time your weapon upgrades, it unlocks a new alpha modification slot for you to use. Hey. 
ね Wield your vipers gangster style. Yes. There we go, holy warriors. It's holy warriors. The Yes, okay. So, break five over in cameras. Find and break five jackpot crates. Complete a catacomb graveyard mission exterminator. Uh, deploy the MP on three turrets in any challenge. Kill five enemies using two different mods. <laughs> Shot orb ahead. Jump towards it and hold down the fire button. Your swing shot will deploy automatically and carry you across the gap. Thank Christ it did. Quit fooling around, Ratchet. Jump back up and try it again. Remember, you can always manually equip oh. the swing shot from the quick select menu. Oh. Whoops. Oh my god, no. No. Well, we can get the B6 blood right now. One of this one? Kill 20 enemies in a row. Give me some damage. If Ratchet was a tough cookie, what kind of cookie would he be? I'm gonna go with Snickerdoodle. Oh, thank Christ.
Let's not leave this guy out. Quit fooling around, Ratchet. Jump back up and try it again. Remember, you can always manually equip the swing shot. camera. Quick select menu. Yeah. Is that not five? Don't tell me that. Have yeah, you that's... ever wondered what's in the special sauce? Well, hopefully it continues on through each level. What do you know, folks? Ratchet has oh, found man. the Landstalker! That runs only 352? Jesus. All aboard the Landstalker. Get this all terrain mecha area. destruction comes fully loaded with power steering, AC, jumbo sized drink holders, and enough plasma mortars to take out a small all star right, system. Control. Team Dark Star's not out for a Sunday drive today, folks. They'll be blazing a trail right into the center of the Catacomb Burial Dome. Okay. Uh, Landstalk controls. Move the legs with the left stick, rotate torso with the right stick, jump, sidestep, fire guns, charge mortars. Fire mortars. So charge mortars. What about one fire them by releasing that one? Ratchet, you will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those quasar orbs. That should clear the way. We are loving this carnage, folks. But it's time Defeat for the final the showdown zombies. in the Catacomb Burial Dome. There's no telling what lurks inside. Wow. 
play any challenge only using the magma cannon. Level three. Oh, we up to a hundred. This creature is clearly much too dangerous to be set free. He must be destroyed. Zombies, dead ahead! Oh, <laughs> no pun intended, sir. Human, and got me killed. Yeah, all scared. Excellent work, Ratchet. I must admit, I was worried. Oh, you shouldn't have been. Ooh, the hacker ray. Green metal. campaign and won a medal. You have also unlocked a new set of objectives called Dread Challenges. Earning medals and defeating Dread Challenges are the key to survival in Dread Zone. Yeah. You must earn Dread Points in order to unlock new planets. You can earn them by beating the Dread Challenges on any accessible planet. Challenges can be completed in any order once they are unlocked. Let's just head back to the containment suite for now. <laughs> something real quick uh, skill points and we're up to 18 so it shouldn't that have unlocked right now
A single weapon at a time. You will need to add and remove the mods in order to put them onto different weapons. Select a weapon, scroll down to the alpha upgrade, and press X to enter the alpha modification menu. Cool. Alright, so, Battle Dome. Get 10 swarms in 10 seconds. Complete any challenge without taking damage. Complete the challenge with Manic Speed Demon in less than 60 seconds and challenge. Zombie attack, kill 50 robot zombies, blow up 15 barrels, kill 5 swarmers in one shot. Hey. Let's fly to the back. Thank you. 
Huh. Would have thought I would have caused more of a problem than I did. Which is uh, twenty thousand. Uh, let's uh, finish these up then. I think we'll wrap up for today. emails once that goes up. Ratchet will race to beat the clock. Each checkpoint he passes will earn him a few extra seconds. Team Darkstar, get ready to race! Alright. So, what have I... Finish checkpoint the race with more than five seconds left. Okay.
Construction Derby. Or Derby. Derby. Five enemies you can see different parts in 30 seconds. I'll do that after this actually. Actually, I think I think the next challenge is a regular one anyway, so I can do it then. Uh, just deploy the EMP on three tests in a challenge. Kill five enemies at once with the mortars. It's time to hop into the land stalker. Take out as many enemies as you can. Was on 60. Damn it. Uh, at least I didn't focus on uh, five points. Nice. Your status on Dread Zone now allows you to access planet Serathos. Serathos. Uh, right. Monuments of Death. What are we doing? Your mission is to destroy the ancient statues scattered across the battlefield. Each one is protected by robot corpses, so watch out. Alright, so I need to use the uh, Vipers. This is a Dread Zone favorite. Our contestant will have to destroy three ancient statues all in a matter of minutes. You've got to love it. Ratchet, command your bots to place their explosives on each tower. When all the explosives are placed, they will detonate. There we go. I 
should have his own fitness machine, his own shoes, his own fat-burning barbecue! Zoingo. Catacrom is complete, apart from uh, four challenges. That's another dread challenge. So we have seven more challenges to do in the battle then. But not all the um, challenges are available yet. Blow up 15 barrels, use a fusion rifle to kill 20 in one shot, the free reactor in 30 seconds. Yeah, no, we can't do any of those yet anyway. And then deploy the EMP on three turrets and then a challenge. I don't know. Complete a catacomb graveyard challenge uh, mission on exterminated difficulty. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, find and break five jackpot crates. I think we found one of them. And break five hovering cameras. I'm surprised uh, that wasn't done. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, excuse me. Alright, let's head back to the Dread Zone container to sleep quickly. I attack you with a spider tank. Power level 5. I defend with level 6 Lun Ninja. <laughs> You fell right into my trap. <laughs> You're exterminated. No, 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 no. 
Literally kill your friends with these trading cards. You know the things, the things that you want to do when playing trading cards. <laughs> I've always remember this one guy in uh, in school. Um, because match attacks were a very big thing in school at that point because they were allowed, and uh, he literally. He traded his best cards with somebody. You know, we're talking. This is like little, un little under ten years ago. So we're looking at like you know, like Carlos Tevez, Wayne Rooney, players like that. So he's literally trading them to this person in his year. I think. I think it was his year. It might be my year. Um, because he was a year above, and did he trade these best players? for like substandard players I think like current day it would be like swapping like Aguero and Kante for like uh, Fred <laughs> and um, and like you know like Matty Longstar for example that's like the equivalent. And then he claims that uh, his cards were stolen. And from that day forth, all trading cards were banned in my school. Yeah. Great. Alright, what have we got? Still just a holy shield launcher there. Probably once when you go to Sarathos. Which is probably where I'd, uh, I'd unlock more stuff. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna leave it here. How does one exit? I don't know. There we go. Save. There we go. A little under two hours, not bad. There we go. Quit the title screen. Alright, so yes, uh, that is going to do it for this uh, first stream of Ratchet's Gladiator slash Deadlocked, whatever you want to call it. I must make sure to not do that again because it kills the signal for a second. So yeah, uh, definitely going to keep playing this because I love this game. Definitely going to play this completion. And so yeah, hope hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you will continue to enjoy it the more I play it. Um, if you're new here, if you haven't checked it out before, you can find all the links down below. It's all the places you can find me when I'm not live on Twitch. You've got Facebook, you've got YouTube, you've got Discord. There's YouTube as well. Um, there's also a, uh, a store page where you can find t-shirts like these. Hell yeah. Um, and remember, there is limited edition Halloween merch still on there for the next couple of weeks or so. We'll probably leave it for the next for the first few days of November because why not? Um, you can also find the link for the Patreon and the donation link as well. Should you want to uh, support me that way, of course, not pushing anyone into doing it, but it would be highly appreciated. That's it for me, so until next time, we'll, we'll probably play more of this. Have a good one, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.